Hi. Right. Um, now, I've just I'm trying to put this into a movie maker, not movie maker, into a movie uh, format with automatic focus, with not automatic focus. So I'm not sure where to. Right. Uh, manual focus. Right, we'll try that. Okay, off we go. Right, not to forget the watercolour viewers in my sojourn into abstraction. So I, I'll do a, I don't know what I'll do, I'll just make it up as I go along and try and make it as simple as possible. Okay, so it's Fabriano paper, the colours are uh, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint spray, burnt umber. It's Cotsman watercolour, 21mm tubes. They're not better than Rowney or other manufacturers, it's just that they, they come in a nice big economic tube. 21mm quantity, which is a good size. So that's why we use it. Right, I'll put a bit of sky in, a bit of sienna. Just to give a nice unifying warm all over. And I'm going to put a bit of, a bit of blue. Remember this dries quite a bit lighter than when we put it on. So we give a really good mix of a bit of cloud. Oh, a bit more red. Right, okay. That I do, we've got a bit of a cauliflower turning up here, so we'll just get rid of that. Just re wet the paper a bit. Okay, now I'm going to dry it, so take your headphones off. Here we go. Okay, so there's our sky. We don't need to do any more to it than that. That's a, quite an interesting sky. Right, we'll put in some distant, distant hills, so it's a bit of light red and same, same colour as the clouds. Okay, so a bit of sienna in there. Bit of, bit of green. Using some some of my cadmium yellow, which is a lovely, rich yellow, makes wonderful greens. I oh, will uh, put in some. Could, could make this into a sort of a Lake District type of scene here. Let's get some warmer. Rocky. Some darks here, nice rich dark. Otherwise you'll just lose it in the wet paint underneath. Okay, so a bit of amber. It's just a bit of a, a beach here. I'm going to put some dark bits in here because we want to be able to scrape out some some rocks in this beach. 
bit of warm colour. It's a nicely, nice rich dark in here. If you put uh, wet paint on wet paint, it just disappears and you start getting your cauliflowers. Okay, so. Some trees. This is just, just decoration, really, in this. Uh, it's a nice rich green in trees. Sometimes I forget what I'm going to say. Okay, now get a card. Oh, I mustn't forget my tea. This is really cool. You can pull the paper quite tight, tight. You don't need to uh, shrink the paper first or like, stretch it by soaking it with tape all over it around the edge. You don't need to do it. This, this is uh, for wet and wet. This technique is, is fine. So let's just just put in some beachy rocks. Okay, now we can just do a little bit of sun. Trees just, just indicated, and then the same here. It's a bit of detail, bit of, bit of rockiness. Okay, that's that's a bit enough. Just, just on here a little bit. Sort of a Lake District type of. See, the latest it is a, a beautiful Cumbrian landscape in uh, North West England. Wonderful, wonderful area. Okay, we won't be to see too much detail in here, so let's just lift out a little bit. Okay, now we need to put something over here. So let's go in with some, some umber. The sort of a beach, quite warm colours, showing a bit of grasses. I'll do that in the rig in a minute. It's easier to show what I want it to, to show with the rigger. No, oh, just a little bits of dark in there just to give a bit of interest. I was watching a video made a couple of years ago by about Kieran Williams, Williamson, something like that, I can't remember exactly. There's a boy prodigy um, painting landscapes, absolutely fantastic uh, impressionist. And his one of his ego, uh, heroes is Everett Seagull. Uh, Kieran comes from Norfolk, he's got a lovely lovely uh, regional accent which is music to my ears. Okay that'll do for that. Um, I'm going to start to to decorate it now. Let's go on the go. Which I'll just wash. I used it in the acrylic abstracts earlier just to lose. I had a little bit of white, pure white titanium left on my greaseproof palette so I just dragged the brush over it. I'm enjoying doing the uh, I've said I've got an, already got an eye on like on one of them. If you don't like them, I don't blame you. You come on my channel for the landscapes and end up doing acrylics, but but it's all painting. And I must say that that working with abstraction does help you to free up. It's all about having fun with the paint. It doesn't have to mean anything. All right, let's just do some grasses coming up here. 
this pizza joint. So what goes up comes down and that just shows a bit of uh, a bit of reflection. A bit of detail, don't have to be very, very much, it's just adding some No, it all, all says reflection. Just a simple way, I've done it so many times, but they all end up different. All right, so let's do a bit of... Uh, I'm going to try a brush over that. I don't really want to put a reflection in. Well, I might put a little bit in. Brilliant. Doing important work here. Go away. I'll never answer the phone when I'm doing this. Wipes out. Oh, that would be have shown some reflection in that. Oh, I'll just, oh, I've changed my mind. Could always change your mind. Oh, well, that'll do. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so there we are. That's uh, what else can we put in there? That's a little brush. We'll, we'll put a. <coughs> uh, might put a little sail boat over there. All right, let's just put a bit of a bit of a. Boat in. Just adds a little bit of interest. I'll put a little figure in there. You need to make sure that you you leave a bit of um, dark around or light to, to put this in the figures in otherwise. Bit of a flat head now. Okay.
Mm. Not very good that. Okay, let's uh, go a little half inch brush. And it. And this. A tissue. And we'll just stitch out a little bit of a bit of a sailboat here. Else to go in there. Well, uh, a couple of points. Tiny bit. Right, okay, got a signature. Let's put it in the mouth and have a, have a look at it. Then I'll drink my tea, which I forgot. Boom uh, out. So another little simple scene for you to have a go at. Nothing of any great consequence, it's just a, a quickie. It's always gone wrong there. Let's see if I can just darken the figure. Clean my hake. When you squeeze the water out, just squeeze the bristles. Don't pull them, otherwise you will pull them out. Just for me, not very good. Right, okay, thanks for watching. Let's uh, zoom in a bit and have a look around it. So, there we are with some distant hills and some nearer hills, a little boat floating around there, and a rowboat there, and just, just a very simply drawn uh, marshy beach. Oh, I hope you get some pleasure out of that one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.